think about all those other players. Their season has been canceled also. Well, I'm here to tell you it should be canceled. Hey everybody, Greg Winteregg here, CEO of Matterhorn Business Development. I'm flying solo today. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so you get notifications. We're doing three videos a week right now. So, you know, it's been said before that sports mimics life. I don't have anybody else in this with me. I have my own personal opinion about this. Maybe you agree, maybe you disagree. Send me a comment. Uh, this just broke this morning. Uh, St. Louis High School, uh, it's called Cardinal Ritter, canceled the rest of the football season. Their team was 7-0. And basically what happened is in the championship game last year for the state high school championship, uh, running back Bill Jackson was ejected from the game. What that led to, per rules, was an automatic suspension of the first game of this season. He played, but he didn't play wearing his Bill Jackson number four. He played wearing number 24, and his name was changed to Marvin Burks, and he was listed on the roster as a freshman. This is, this is a cover-up of all cover-ups. So he plays, he has, uh, he rushed for 109 yards. He had a 56 yard touchdown. They won the game and they have since won their next six games, but he has a tattoo that's a sleeve and I don't have anything against that, but it gave him away because somebody saw Marvin Burks, number 24, and like, that's not Marvin Burks. Burks, that's Bill Jackson. And I want to acknowledge the school president, uh, Tamiko Armstead. She fired the entire coaching staff and she canceled the rest of the season. And the athletic director, Preston Thomas, has made the decision to retire. Now, on talk radio today, uh, this is a thing. I was listening to it on the drive in and this is where it kind of like sparked some interest in me because one of the broadcasters said, think about all those other players. Their season has been canceled also. Well, I'm here to tell you it should be canceled because every coach on that team knew this was a ruse. Every player on the team knew it was a ruse. I don't have the interview here, but the coach said Marvin Burks earned his starting position in practice. And then Bill Jackson was interviewed after the game saying it was hard to watch from the sideline. This whole thing was a scam. And I guarantee there were some of the parents of the other players who knew it was a scam because their son came home and said, this is what's happening. And you want to know something? Nobody said a word. Everybody's deserving the penalty that they got. Now, what does this have to do with business? Okay, now I've actually been in this position. I've had summer jobs going through college, getting into dental school, all of that. And I was uh, in making house trailers for two summers and I had my unit and I just had my head down and I would see other things going on. It's like, you know, it's not my job. But here, there's a different viewpoint that must be taken by everybody within an organization. I've kind of outgrown that one particular viewpoint. It's actually an irresponsible viewpoint. Of <clears throat> It is my job. I'm part of this group. And if I see something going on that is unethical and irresponsible, then I have to report it. This could have been, this should have been reported by dozens of people. We're talking about the team, we're talking about the parents of the players, we're talking about the other coaches. How could one coach not say, this is not okay, this is not right? And then the coach, now he says, he's trying to, he, he still hasn't come clean. This is, this is really, really go, gross. So the coach says, um, well, you know, kids sometimes have a tendency to wear other kids' numbers and I was unaware. No, no, don't pull that now. You're just digging it deeper. So 
within a business, within an organization, the responsibility, yes, it starts at the top and it works its way down. But now if you find yourself in an organization and there's something going on that isn't right, you have to report it all the way up the chain of command. And if it gets you fired, then it gets you fired. But you at least walk away with your own personal integrity. So this is about taking responsibility for the group. It's about taking responsibility for the company. So what is the end result now of everybody's silence? Well, the season has been canceled. The senior players who are hoping to play for an, a, a state title, their season is over. And now it's interesting because Jackson's mother is saying, whoa, this could have consequences with my child now for his college career. Oh, by the way, Jackson's been suspended for eight games of next year. I don't know, the high school season is not 16 games, I think it's 12. And so everybody has to take ownership of this. Everybody owns this. I admire the president of the school for walking in. Everybody's fired, the athletic director's gone, season is canceled. And I hope everybody learns a lesson here. In business, it, no matter where you are in the organization, it's your company. If you see something going on that is wrong, then you need to report it. And if you're reporting something all the way up the chain of command and nobody cares and you know this is wrong, it's time to start looking for another job. Because I will tell you, if there's this kind of unethical activity and this kind of irresponsibility in the company, your job is not going to be there for long anyway. So the bottom line is the company is there for a reason. The company is there to help the public. It's there to serve the public. And if it's being done irresponsibly, if it's being done unethically, then that's the responsibility of every person in the organization. And just because somebody up the chain of command agrees with it does not make it right. At the end of the day, you have to sleep. At the end of the day, you're the one that has to walk away with some pride. You have to walk out of that company prideful that this is where I work, this is the product that I got today, this is how I help somebody today. And if something is squirrely and something is weird going on behind the scenes, then that's your responsibility just as much as it is the CEO or the president of the company. So, I just wanted to toss this out here. Sports does imitate life. This is a great learning lesson. And once again, I acknowledge the president of the school for canceling the season, firing everybody who knew about this. It took a lot of courage because I'm sure they were already lining themselves up for the state championship. But that is personal integrity right there. So if you're part of a group, it's your company. You're not just there. I'm only going to do my thing, keep my head down, do my job because that company's not going to be around for long. So I hope this has helped. Once again, hit the subscribe button and we're pumping out the video. Keep watching our stuff. Make some comments. If you think I'm full of it, go ahead and say that. I'm a big boy. I can take the criticism. Have a good one. 